Hi, I would like to share with you the scripture from John chapter 4, um, starting with verse 1. Therefore, when the Lord knew that the Pharisees had heard that Jesus made baptize more disciples than John, though Jesus himself did not baptize, but his disciples left Judea and departed again to Galilee, but he needed to go through Samaria. So he came to a city, Samaria, which is called Sychar, near the plot of ground that Jacob gave to his son Joseph. Now Jacob's well was there. Jesus, therefore, being wearied from his journey, sat thus by the well. It was about the sixth hour. A woman in Samaria came to draw water. Jesus said to her, Give me a drink, for his disciples had gone away into the city to buy food. Then the woman in Samaria said unto him, how is it that you, being a Jew, ask a drink from me, a Samaritan woman? For Jews have no dealings with Samaritans. Jesus answered and said unto her, If you knew the gift of God and who it is that says to you, Give me a drink, you would have asked him, and he would have given you living water. And the woman said unto him, Sir, you have nothing to draw with, and the well is deep. Where then do you get that living water? Are you greater than our father Jacob, who gave us the well and drank from it himself, as well as his sons and his livestock? And Jesus answered and said unto her, Whoever drinks of this water will thirst again, but whoever drinks of the water that I shall give him will never thirst. But the water that I shall give him will become in him a fountain of water springing up into everlasting life. The woman said unto him, Sir, give me this water that I may not thirst, nor come here to draw. And Jesus said unto her, um, Go, call your husband, and come here. And the woman answered and said, I have no husband. And Jesus said to her, You have well said, I have no husband. For you have had five husbands, and one whom you now have is not your husband, and that you spoke truly. The woman said unto him, Sir, I perceive you are a prophet. Our fathers worshipped on this mountain, and you do say that in Jerusalem is the place where one ought to worship. And Jesus said unto her, Women, believe me, the hour is coming when you will neither on this mountain nor in Jerusalem worship the Father. You worship what you do not know. We know what we worship, for salvation is of the Jews. But the hour is coming, and now is, when the true worshippers will worship the Father in spirit and truth, for the Father is seeking such to worship him. God is spirit, and those who worship him must worship in spirit and truth. The woman said unto him, I know that Messiah is coming, who is called Christ. When he comes, he will tell us all things. Jesus said to her, I, I who speak to you am he. And at this point, his disciples came, and they marveled that he talked with a woman, yet no one said, What do you seek, or why are you talking with her? The woman then left her water pot, went her way into the city, and said to the men, Come see a man who told me all things that I ever did. Could this be the Christ? Then they went out of the city, came to him. In the meantime, his disciples urged him, saying, Rabbi, eat. But he said to them, I have food to eat of which you do not know. Therefore his, his disciples said one to another, Has anyone brought him anything to eat? And Jesus said unto them, My food is to do the will of him who sent me and to finish his work. Do you not say there are still four months and then comes to harvest? Behold, I say to you, Lift up your eyes and look, look at the fields, for they are already white for harvest. And he who reaps receives wages and gathers fruit for eternal life, that both he who sows and he who reaps may rejoice together. For in this the saying is true, one sows and another reaps. I sent you to reap for that which you have not labored. Others have labored, and you have entered into their labors. And many of the Samaritans of that city believed in him because of the word of the woman who testified, he told me all that I ever did. So when the Samaritans had come to him, they urged him to stay with them. So he stayed there two days. And many more believed because of his own word. And then he said to the woman, Now we believe not because of what you said, for ourselves have heard him, and we know that this is indeed the Christ, the Savior of the world. Now, those scriptures right there are t talking about um, Jesus um, meeting with the um, woman at the well. Um, this this woman came, I mean, came out to draw water, and um, she was there by herself. And um, and Jesus casually asked her to give to give him a drink, and and the woman said, "I'm I'm a Samaritan woman. You're a Jew. How?" how 
how's that you asked me for a drink? And he's basically uh, told her, if you knew who it is that's asking you, and you would have would have asked him, and he would have given you living water. And and th this made the um, woman curious about about this um, living water that Jesus was offering, and um, and Jesus answered that whoever drinks of this wa wa water that you get from the well will thirst again, but whoever drinks of the water that I shall give him will never thirst, because that water will become in him a fountain of water bur bursting into everlasting life, and th th that made the um, woman interested in um, wanting wanting to get that water, and then then Jesus a a told her to go, call your husband and br bring him here, and th this caught th this caught her off guard and said, "I have no husband," and, and Jesus said. You well said you have no husband, for you have five husbands, and the one you now have is not your husband. And and she, and the woman was realized, you are a prophet. I mean, our fathers worship on this mountain, but you say in Jerusalem is the place where men ought to worship. And and she, and Jesus was like, um, a time will come, lady, when um. You'll you'll worship the Father not neither on this mountain nor in Jerusalem. I mean, and I mean, and God God seeks um, those who will worship Him in spirit and in truth, and and um, what and one says, I know that Messiah is coming. So when when He comes, He He will speak of all things, and. Jesus, Jesus told her, I am he whom you are speaking to. And then the, then the woman went away, went away and they basically told everybody that, look, I, this man told me everything that I ever did. did could this be the Christ? And then and everyone com, comes out to meet um, Jesus and, um, and, and they all believe believed on Jesus and I mean and and um, the disciples who were um, going into the city to buy food um, came back and with food and, and they, um, Jesus and he asked, asked the rabbi to eat and Jesus told him I have food that to eat that w which you do not know anything about, and one wondering has anyone brought, brought him anything to eat? And then, and Jesus said, "My food is to do the will of Him who has sent me and finish His work." And he goes on to say, "Do you not say there are yet four months, and then comes the harvest?" I see. You look at the fields, for they are already white for harvest. I mean. I mean, he, he. I mean, he basically sent the woman to, um, to to labor in his in the field to bring pe people in that he's going to harvest for um, salvation, and and the, and they're going to and they're going to reap her labors. <laughs> I mean, it's kind of, it's kind of interesting what what Jesus. Did right there um, with the Samaritan woman, basically br bring her into, bring her and her people into, in, into um, salvation through, through faith in Jesus Christ, and and the Samaritans were basically people that the Jews um, wouldn't as associate with because they were um, what they were like half Jews, e ethnically. And they had their own um, ways of worship, and they basically end up walking around Samaria in order to get from like Judea to um, Galilee. But only only Jesus' and his disciples 
um, would go through scenario and and, G, and Jesus um, brought salvation to the Jews and the, and the Samaritans. Anyway, that's pretty much all I have to share with you this morning. So, have a good day, and God bless you.